Hey YouTube, uh, coming to you today from Satuous Point. Uh, it's a wildlife refuge for native birds and other critters. Um, haven't been here in about 20 years. Uh, we're here with the family. Um, I'm out here by myself doing some fly fishing for stripers and bluefish. Uh, so far haven't had anything but having a great time. Want to uh, show you the coastline here and just uh, check it out see what it looks like. This is on the side of Third Beach. Try to get out there, but the waves are just, they're just enormous. I have here Thomas and Thomas 10 weight fly rod, and I uh, have some, some streamers here that I've tied up, blouser minnows. The nine foot 10 weight uh, does the job out here for stripers, and I thought maybe I could come out here and I could pick off a couple stripers here. Uh, on the beach with a popper, but as you can see, the video is not doing it justice, I'm sure, but there are some big ass waves out here today. These waves are huge. And for low tide, boy, I tell you, they're just breaking off those rocks out there. So, this sanctuary is critical to a lot of the native birds, um, songbirds in the Northeast. They come to this island, it's 214, something like that, 240 acres. And they come to this, this island, basically, this point, it's not really an island, but it's on Rhode Island. And they fatten themselves up eating bugs and all the seeds and berries. And then they, many of the birds make their, their winter migration south, but they stop here. So this was a, uh, a huge wildlife sanctuary in, in Newport. Also has a couple nice beaches, well three of them. There's uh, easy enough first, second, and third beach. As, as I was saying, the beaches are first, second, and third. Easy enough, first and second. Beach goers, surfers, uh, two nice beaches. Third beach is really rocky and it's not so much a beach. Um, it's uh, maybe further down. I, I've, Never really gotten that far down it. I've only fished it years ago and was just down there checking it out to see if it would be something that would be fishable this morning. Man, but you know, no matter because this is just absolutely beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful and it's really nice to be back to Newport. If you haven't had a chance to check out Newport, um, you definitely want to put it on your list. What I'm gonna do is come around this bend. I'm gonna film a little bit for you. The waves crashing on the rocks. I'll show you some of that. And then uh, I think we're gonna end this. Stay tuned. As you can see, it's pretty, pretty rough out there. Look at the size of this one. I mean, that's easily a 10 foot wave, easily. And what I would normally do is get out to these, these points. I was just a moment ago on that rock right there. This is the big point that I fish normally. And I was out on that rock right there. Years ago when I was younger, this is where we would, this foamy froth right here there are stripers and bluefish loaded up in there eating bait fish and that's where we would typically do really well. My son was out with me yesterday and the, the waves were nowhere near as high and he was able to get a bluefish hookup over here that spit the hook. But yeah, it's just, you can see it's just going crazy. an example of the birds I was talking about. And these are, I don't even know what kind they are. I don't think they're terns, but there's just thousands of birds on this point that come here to winter. Ducks, wood ducks. It's pretty cool. The other thing prevalent on this point are ticks. That's right, ticks. There are 
billions of them here. And when you get done fishing or walking a path, you have to scan your body. You gotta take a look. If you have a buddy, that's what you do. Um, the waders help, but I've had ticks behind my ears, on my neck, uh, under my hat. They get, and you don't feel them, you don't know they're there. And one hitched a ride on me for hours at one point. Uh, so you really gotta, helps I don't have any hair, but um, just another, a lot of deer and a lot of ticks. Well, I'm coming back up to the car and up to the parking area. So uh, that is pretty much what I have been doing the last week or so. I uh, want to thank everybody for watching. Hope you like this video. It's something a little different. Um, not every trip I go on um, usually gets, I get ideas on things I want to build. And one of those things is going to be an outdoor shower. We have an outdoor shower at the house that we're renting. And uh, I think that that would be really cool really cool to have an outdoor shower so uh, I think that's something that we're gonna put on our list to do so uh, check that out when that when that happens so an outdoor shower would be a really really cool thing to have I think and this one kind of looks like it was thrown together. Pressure treated 4x4 four four posts. Does have hot water and cold, obviously, but hot water is a nice, nice plus. Cedar uh, with pressure treated. Some hooks. And this one's just sitting on some rocks. They screwed it into the house. Not anything I would do. that's going to be a project for us. I want to thank everybody for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and we will check you out when we're back in town at the next video.